In the summer of 1868, the Lossapeda mania came to this country from Paris. And about 50 firms rushed into production of funny machines like this one, which came to be called the Bone Shaker. Although, actually, it's rather comfortable. I'm sitting on a bit of sprung steel. It's very heavy, and really, it was more a toy for rich young chaps, not a serious means of transport. Nevertheless, this was how the bicycle came to Britain. Ah! Uh, not very good brakes on this, and it's not very elegant getting off either. It was only about 18 months before the bone shaker was superseded by this, the ordinary or high bicycle. By pedalling a huge front wheel of up to five feet high, you could really get up speed, and more athletic gentlemen even began racing them. It was a real macho machine. The disadvantage is you've got to sit directly over that in order to reach your pedals, which means your face is up there somewhere. And that means if you hit a pothole, you go splat on your face. That was called taking a header. The market was wide open for someone with a bright idea to clean up. And in 1887, a Coventry tricycle repairman called John Kemp Starley introduced a design so brilliant that he made himself a fortune and he revolutionised the world of personal transport. This is an original Starley Rover or safety bicycle. And you'll see it's got two wheels the same size and most important it's got a chain so that I'm driving the back wheel not the front wheel. And because the chain wheel on the pedals is twice as big as the cog at the back, the back wheel is going round twice as fast as my pedals. So you can go very fast on this machine. Starley organised 50 mile and 100 mile time trials and these bikes smashed all previous records. They saw the high bicycle off the road and this bicycle design hasn't changed in more than 100 years.